modern western philosophy philosopher martin heidegger martin heidegger was a german philosopher he is regarded as one of the most influential figures of the 20th century for his contributions in the field of phenomenology and existentialism existentialism is a philosophical method or approach which lays stress on the existence of the individual person as a free being somebody who is responsible for their own development through the acts of freedom of will existential phenomenology is associated with heidegger's philosophy because it is in contrast with pure phenomenology advocated by heidegger's mentor that is edmund husserl according to husserl's method the emphasis is put on epistemology that is pure phenomenology whereas heidegger's method puts ontology before epistemology advocating existential phenomenology existential phenomenology deals with studying observing and analyzing the concept of the sign or being there the concept of the sign heidegger comes up with the concept of ontological difference the difference between what is an entity and the being of that entity is the ontological difference the latter or the being of that entity is more important for heidegger according to him the being of an entity deals with the meaningful presence of an entity within the range of human experience so the human entity which is distinguished by the awareness of being of other entities including the being of itself is what is called the sign the word he uses for human beings is the sign the two features of the sign are being and temporality the sign's own being is temporal not in the chronological sense but in the existential sense hence it is always oriented towards the future the sign exists it stands out from all the other beings because it is self reflective it is becoming itself and ultimately becoming its own death mortality is the core theme of his philosophy corresponding a proper and improper understanding of the sign entails the proper and improper understanding of the beings around the world being according to him is essentially relational in nature therefore there is no use of word consciousness and subjectivity with it according to heidegger the structure of the sign being there is composed of three equal moments the three equal moments are number 1 becoming number 2 all readiness and number 3 presence number 1 becoming according to heidegger the design is never fixed it is always becoming this becoming is not dependent on choice but it is a necessary step the essence of being there is that it exists it is always inclined towards the future or it is future oriented it is hence always becoming itself and finally it becomes its own death according to heidegger it is nothingness the knowing of being as becoming the knowing of being as dying number 2 all readiness the sign is always motivated towards the future it always stands out for the future this becoming is no choice but it is compulsory in other words inevitable number 3 presence according to heidegger the word presence is bound up with the word absence it means the sign appears itself as becoming by embracing death in other words it is called mortal becoming to know of the sign as becoming presence is to know of the sign as dying absence the essence of the sign is plus absence this he also calls as a movement being and nothingness heidegger is interested in the concept of the sign being there according to him it can only be known via self knowledge he says that the concept of both being and non being are essentially for our own understanding without knowing the one we cannot know the other for example without knowing the non being we cannot know the being he says being manifests itself only by negation so nothing nothings itself hence the concept of nothingness is included in the concept of being nothingness is regarded as the source of negation according to heidegger dread always proves nothingness 
he quotes, dread reveals nothing. Dread is understood as a psychological aspect which is not similar to fear. In fact, it is contradictory to fear. So, the two cannot be reduced to each other. Fear deals with specific objects and leaves an effect on us or confuses us. On the other hand, dread deals with no specific objects. The dread is the dread for no particular thing. So, the experience of dread proves the nothingness. Heidegger says, dread reveals the nothingness because it deals with the occurrence of human existence and within this, nothing is revealed. So, according to Heidegger, nothingness shows us the courage to realize the reality. It helps us to know the design. He says, each man must transcend the design. It gives us a meaning. It is also responsible for transcendence, selfhood and freedom. In the absence of nothing, there would be no such thing as selfhood, freedom, etc. Man as a being in the world According to Heidegger, man finds himself in the world and care or concern is very important. It is regarded as the inner principle which organizes his relations with the world. According to him, care or concern is regarded as the basis of being there or the sign. Man in the world experiences various moods. Death is regarded as an inescapable fact or an inevitable truth of human existence. Heidegger says, when death emerges in our consciousness, then it produces dread, not fear, but dread. Dread is referred to as violent fear. It confronts the man with the reality of his very being. Authentic existence, according to Heidegger, is very important. He says, at the time of death, man's eyes concentrate on his personal being. As a result, he thinks about his past actions, past doings, and understands the presence and anticipates the future happenings. Hence, it is at the time of death, according to Heidegger, the sign realizes that the future depends upon his present acts. In other words, it is at the time of death, a sense of guilt is inculcated in the design. The Critique of Technological Civilization According to Heidegger, care or concern and harmony are some of the inner principles of existence. He was against the technological civilization because, according to him, there exists no harmony and no care or concern in it. According to him, an authentic existence is referred to as the aim of one's life. Authentic existence, according to him, is important because, he says, at the time of death, a man's eye concentrates on his personal being. He thinks about how he has been, his past actions, his presence, and he accordingly anticipates his future. But the technological civilization, according to him, destroys all this due to the presence of power, greed, money present in the civilization. Hence, he critiques the idea of technological civilization. It is important to note that the concept of existential phenomenology is most important to the philosophy of Heidegger.